the absolute value of what is 8. These little lines basically are saying make it positive. So what values give me 8? There's actually two. The absolute value of what? Basically it's saying what two numbers are 8 from 0? Because absolute value also means distance from 0. So give me one number that equals 8. Your answer is 8. There's also another answer. Your other answer is negative 8. Because is negative 8, when you take off the negative, positive 8? What an absolute value does, an absolute value changes all negative values to a positive. So if it's positive, it doesn't need to change it. It stays. But if it's negative, it makes it positive. So your two answers are 8 and negative 8. Both of those make the statement true. Looking at number 2. What numbers will give me 12? Well, could some of you see 16 works? Because look at this. Doesn't x minus 4 equals 12? If I just simply solve that, if you add 4 to both sides, does 16 work? Does 16 minus 4 give you 12? Yeah. But absolute values, don't those make whatever ends up in here positive? So watch this real quick. There's also another answer. You can also do x minus 4 equals negative 12. Because if what's in here ends up being negative 12, will the absolute value switch it to a positive 12? Absolute values switch values to positive before they come out. Let me show you. If I solve this, x minus 4 equals negative 12 for x. I get x equals negative 8. Look at this. What's negative 8 minus 4? Negative 12. Won't the absolute value make up negative 12 a positive 12, making a true statement? Absolute values make answers positive. I'll show you another one. Now, the first problem on 3 is you need to get the absolute values by itself. So in order to get this absolute value by itself, or I call it isolate the absolute values, you isolate it, you first need to get rid of this 7. So you're going to add 7 to both sides. Okay. I now have 2, absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 18. Now, the absolute value still is not by itself. That 2 means 2 times the absolute value of blank. So how do you undo a times? Divide. So now I'm going to divide by 2. Those will cancel. I now have the absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 18 divided by 2 is 9. Does this problem look a lot like this one? Yes, the absolute value is isolated. Now, one more time. The basic way to solve an absolute value problem is you make two equations. You're going to make one equation over here that's simply 2x minus 3 is 9. You can solve that one. You got one answer. The other one, you see right here, we solved one as its normal equation. What do we do to this equation? We made the answer negative. So the other equation you got to make is 2x minus 3, well, could also equal negative 9. So here's your two equations. With absolute values, you make two equations. One, where you get your normal equation. The other one, where you set this piece equal to the opposite of that. So in this situation, negative 9. So we basically make two equations, solve each of them. See right here? We made two equations. We solved each of them. So, let's solve this. Add the 3 over. We now have 2x equals 12. And then we divide by 2. We got x equals 6. Over here, if we add the 3 over, we got 2x equals negative 6. Divide by 2, 
we got x equals negative 3. Two answers. Let's look at it. Negative 3. Plug it in. What's 2 times negative 3? Negative 6. Does negative 6 minus 3 give us negative, give us 9? No, it doesn't give us negative 9, but don't the absolute values change that negative 9 to a positive 9, making it a true statement? If I plug in 6, 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. Is 9 equal to 9? You will always have two answers with absolute values. Even here, two answers. Because what's inside of here can be a positive 8 or a negative 8, because the absolute value will make it positive. All right, one more. For this problem, we first want to minus the 7 over. And we got 3x plus 7 equals negative 6. That line's kind of annoying, sorry. Now, when we make two equations, you actually can stop. Could an absolute value ever get a negative 6 out? No matter what I plug in for x here, because this equals a negative 6, when I move the 7 over, I get negative 6. There's no way to take an absolute value and get a negative out. So basically, this is not possible. There are no solutions. There is no way to solve this equation because you can never plug anything in for x and after you do the absolute value of it to get a negative 6 out. So be careful. Before you start, if you're, for instance, here, if that was a negative 9, you stop. You can't solve it. If this right here was a negative 12, you couldn't solve it. Anytime you have an absolute value equal to a negative, you stop. You can't solve it.